Hello, this is Brian Lysing with Financial Brokerage, and today I'd like to share an idea that will apply to your three, maybe five wealthiest clients uh, that you work with in your practice. Uh, most of these people uh, are not aware of the big changes coming to the federal estate tax in 2026. A lot of people who don't have a federal estate tax problem today are going to have a big problem in just a couple of years and it's going to be here before we know it. Uh, because of that it's very important to make them aware of this and start the planning process today. If you've ever done any estate planning it takes a while. Uh, you usually involves several meetings uh, not only with you, with their accountant, with their attorney. It takes a while to rearrange assets and then get to the point where life insurance comes into play to pay the federal estate tax. Now, why are we talking about this? What's happening? Well, this all goes back to uh, 2017. Congress passed a law that raised the federal estate tax exemption limits uh, tremendously from where they were uh, previously. Now, Congress didn't make this permanent though. They designed the law so that it would sunset and that happens in 2026. So, uh, where are we at today? Well, right now, clients don't have to worry about the federal estate tax uh, until as a couple their assets exceed uh, just over 26 million or as an individual 13 million. In 2026, that reverts back and these numbers will be adjusted up for inflation, but it's going to be roughly $5 million for an individual, $10 million for a couple. That's going to affect a lot more people than what it does today. Now, that, that still might seem like a lot of money, but I don't know. It doesn't take too much to get to, let's say, the $5 million figure, right? Let's say you have a client who's got a home worth a million, maybe $2 million. If they have a home worth that much, they might have a second property. The second property might not be worth that much, but everything adds up. Uh, if they have properties worth that much, what's their retirement account look like? They might have a million or two over there. And now, as you can see, we've, we're nearly at five million. If it's a couple, maybe they have a little bit more. Now, if those assets are at that value today, what are they going to be at in 2026 when the law changes? What are they going to be at in 2036, in 2046 when these people finally pass away. You can see why this is going to become a big problem. On top of that, what if they inherit some money if their parents are still living at this point in time? That's going to be added to their estate and now they're going to be over the threshold. So uh, a lot of people don't know this is coming. I would say um, you should identify the top three, maybe top five wealthiest clients that you work with and have this conversation with them. Are they aware of the changes coming to the federal estate tax in 2026? What have they done so far to prepare for that? Get that conversation started and then eventually you can help them out with a life insurance policy designed to help their family pay the federal estate tax when the time comes.